Hello everyone, we have another NHL trade to discuss. A big deal went down last night involving the Calgary Flames, Philadelphia Flyers, and Vegas Golden Knights as Noah Hannafin has been dealt. With all that coming up right now. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here at the Intent Hockey Channel. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below. Thank you all for your support. I'm never able to do with all of you guys. So if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to leave a comment down in the comment section below discussing all I was discussing in today's video. And also don't forget to stay tuned for tomorrow's live trade deadline video at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Time, 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Talking about all the deals that happen on deadline day. So don't forget to stay tuned for that. But we have had a massive deal go down last night between the Philadelphia Flyers, Calgary Flames, and Vegas Golden Knights. And it trades as follows. It's a three-team deal. The Calgary Flames from the Vegas Gold Knights acquired Daniel Miromanov, a conditional 2025 first round pick, and a conditional 2025 third round pick, and retained 50% of Noah Hannafin's contract. The Philadelphia Flyers retained 25% of Noah Hannafin's contract, and also get a 2024 fifth round pick from the Vegas Gold Knights. And then the Vegas Gold Knights require Noah Hannafin at only 75% of his contract, so that's only a $1.238 million cap hit, and uh, a prospect from the Philadelphia Flyers, Mikhail Vorobiov. So, so this is a pretty good deal for all parties involved. We'll start with the Calgary Flames. This is a pretty good deal for them. Uh, they were rumored to be wanting some decent assets in exchange for Noah Hannafin and they are able to get a couple of. First, they are able to get Daniel Miramanov. Now Miramanov was sort of a diamond in the rough type of player, undrafted player, but it's actually worked out extremely well at the AHL level for the Vegas Golden Knights. Also gone to a couple of NHL games over the past couple of years. Uh, so far this year, only gone to four games, putting up no points at NHL level, but did have six points in five AHL games. Has been injured at some points this year. Last year had 22 points in 31 games as defenseman in the AHL, also has 6 points in 14 NHL games, so he looks like he could eventually uh, maybe still be a, like a solid third pair defenseman, maybe more of an offensive defenseman, so this is a really good pickup there for the Flames, and after this deal that was done, right afterwards, they did extended him. Mario Malf was in the final year of his deal, he was an RFA uh, at the end of the season, he has signed a 2 year contract extension with an AV of $1.2 million, so it's a really good deal in my opinion for the Flames, uh, he's a decent depth defenseman, he's not an uh, overly important and huge defenseman, he's not a huge name or anything, like a top prospect or something, but he's a guy who's had a really good season in the AHL over the past couple of years, he's gone to some NHL games, looked really good at those NHL level, and he could definitely look like a really good prospect there for the uh, Calgary Flames. So they signed to a two-year deal, and that's another nice pickup there for the Calgary Flames. So my guess will be he can definitely be a solid 6 or 7 D on the Flames right now after the Hannafin moves, and I think Miramanov could work out extremely well on what is now a depleted Calgary Flames blue line. So very good stuff there for the Flames. Now the Flames also get two conditional picks as part of this deal. The first one's a 2025 third round pick. The condition is the pick will upgrade to a 2025 second round pick if the Golden Knights win a playoff series this year. So if Vegas winds up, let's say they play Edmonton or Vancouver or LA in the first round, whoever they play, if they're able to win that first round series, the next year's third round pick instead will be upgraded to a next year's second round pick that'll be given to the Calgary Flames. So that's a pretty good pickup there for the Flames. And then they also got a conditional 2025 first round pick. The condition on that pick is this. The Calgary Flames are going to get a first round pick from the Vegas Golden Knights, but there are two conditions on it. One, if Vegas trades their 2025 first round pick uh, before this year's trade deadline, or if uh, that pick is going to be a top 10 pick uh, come 2025, the pick will downgrade to a 2026 first round pick. So it's a decent pick up there for the Flames. They're going to get a first round pick no matter what, but it depends on if they move a first round pick in 2025 before this year's trade deadline, or if the pick is uh, top 10 protected next year, then Calgary may end up with a 2026 first round pick. So it's a decent pick up there. They're going to get either a first in 2025 or a first in 2026. They're going to get either a second in 2025 or a third in 2025, and they get young prospect defenseman Daniel Miramano in this trade, so it's a really good pickup there for the Flames, a young uh, defensive player, and also get a first and a third round pick that could be a first and a second, so really good stuff there for Calgary. For Philadelphia, they retain 25% of Hannafin's contract, so eating up $1.238 million of his cap hit, that's a really good piece of work there for Philly. We know they're a team who was open to doing some cap uh, juggling to try and help some other teams make their deals, and this is exactly what happened with this deal. In exchange, you get a 2024 fifth round pick from the Golden Knights. It's not a huge pick, but it's another draft pick they can use. They can uh, add to their draft capital, so it's a very easy pickup there for Philadelphia Flyers. Eat some salary, given the fact they're a really brilliant team, it's not too hard for them. And then they also are able to get a decent draft pick in return. So a decent pickup there for the Flyers, help this deal go through and get a fifth round pick in return. So very pick up, good pickup there for the Flyers. And then meanwhile for the Vegas Golden Knights, they get two pieces. First, they get prospect Nikhil Vorobiov, who's on the reserve list for Philadelphia Flyers, is a center, uh, was a 2015 fourth round pick of the Philadelphia Flyers. So far right now, he's still playing over in the KHL, putting up 41 points 
61 games, so he looks like he's having a fantastic season over the KHL, one of his better years, and he's been a really consistent KHL player over the past couple of years. Now, will he have ever amount to anything? I'm not sure. I mean, he's a very older prospect. He was drafted in 2015, so I'm not sure if he'll ever play, but at least it's another uh, player that the Golden Knights will have in their prospect pool, so very good stuff there for the Golden Knights to get Mikhail Vorobiev. So hopefully Vorobiev might be able to get back into the NHL. And lastly here, going over to the big piece of the deal, and the big piece the Golden Knights acquired, and that is Noah Hannafin. They were able to get him at only a $1.238 million AAV deal, so that's a very fantastic stuff there for the Golden Knights to get him at that much of a cap hit. Hannafin is a very fantastic offensive defenseman. He can play top four minutes easily. He was a top pairing defenseman in Calgary. He'll probably be a second pairing defenseman in Vegas uh, so far this year. He's on pace to have one of his best uh, point totals of his career, already at 35 points. He's only three shy of last year, 38 point point total. Uh, he's already got 11 goals, which is a career high for him in goals scored. So that's a very fantastic stuff there. Now, he's probably looking for a long-term deal. There has been some discussions about whether Vegas might resign him or not, so it'll be interesting to see on watching out on that if Hannafin does wind up re-upping with the Golden Knights. So it'll be interesting to see there, but this is a fantastic pickup for a Golden Knights. The Knights won their Stanley Cup last year, built on their very fantastic physical and towering defense. Adding Hannafin makes it stronger than last year's Cup champion defense. I mean, you got Hannafin, you add that to a defensive core that already has McNabb, Martinez, Theodore, McNabb, Haig, White Cloud. Hutton's a really good seventh defenseman. I mean, this defense is stacked, and I would not be surprised if they tried to move off one of their defensemen to try and upgrade some more on the four group. So, this is a fantastic piece of work there for a Golden Knights. No, they have to give up a first round pick. Miramanov was a really good piece there for a depth defenseman for the Golden Knights. So, it's not overly great to see those guys go, but but still, it's a very fantastic upgrade for their blue line, and they still have a tiny bit of cap space to work with if they want to add another forward. So, interesting stuff there for the Golden Knights, and it's interesting the condition on that 2025 first round pick was that if they were to trade that 2025 first round pick uh, before uh, the trade deadline, they would wind up giving the Flames the 2026 first round pick. So, it's interesting they made that sort of a condition on that pick, but interesting move there. Just to recap, Hannafin from uh, Calgary and Vorobiev, who's a prospect from Philadelphia, uh, who's on the reserve list right now, both both go to the Vegas Golden Knights. Knights improve their blue line and get another player who's playing over in the KHL right now who could maybe eventually get back into the NHL. The Flyers, in order to retain a quarter of uh, Hannafin's salary, get a fifth round pick in the 2024 draft. So a nice piece of work there for the Flyers. And then the Calgary Flames uh, retain half of Hannafin's salary and get Daniel Miramanov, who they promptly signed to a two-year contract extension with the AV of $1.2 million, who should be a solid third pair defenseman for that team going forward. A conditional 2025 first round pick that could wind up being a 2026 first round pick and a conditional 2025 third round pick that may wind up being a 2025 second round pick. So it's a really good deal for all three teams involved. If I had to pick a winner, I'll probably say Vegas given the fact of how they just upgraded their blue line. I didn't think that blue line was upgradable and I am absolutely wrong. So I think Vegas did win that deal, but Calgary gets a very fantastic return, including a first round pick and Philadelphia gets a pick for retaining some salary. So really good stuff there for Philadelphia too. But I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on all of this. Who do you think won that deal? Let me know who you think down in the comments. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and I'd love to discuss further. On top of that, stay tuned for my March 8th trade deadline video that's coming out tomorrow, uh, 9.30 a.m. Pacific time. So don't forget to stay tuned for that, but that's all I'm gonna talk about for today. Remember to like this video and if you really like to subscribe down below. Thank you for all of your support. I'll never be able to do with all of you guys. Uh, also, uh, don't forget that I do a blog talking about news, rumors, analysis, stuff like that. So if you check that out, I'll leave a link down in the description below. And I can't wait to see you guys all for the next video. See you guys soon.